How would you colorize a black and white line art cartoon in Leonardo AI? That's a question Len Preston had in one of my recent videos. The short answer is using image guidance, and we're going to try that a few different ways right now. We're going to start with this image. I created it here in Leonardo and see if we can get some color filled in. I'm on the image generation page in Leonardo AI. We'll click this little image icon that's inside the prompt box toward the left. Then come down here and select content reference. This window will open up and it's asking you to pick the content you want to reference. Since I generated the image I want to use within Leonardo, I'll go to the Your Generations tab. If I wanted to use something from my computer, I'd click the Your Uploads tab and upload it from there. Now I'm going to select the image I want to use as a reference and click Confirm. That brings us back to the image generation page and need to give it a prompt. Let's try colorized cartoon of a cheerful character dressed in green, smiling and enjoying the bright blue sky as bright red balloons float upward. And the content reference strength is set on high because I don't want it to change things, like putting the character in a different environment or turning him into a horse or anything. I want it to be as close as possible to what I gave it to reference. Now for the settings over on the left, I'm using the Illustrative Albedo preset and the preset style of illustration. I left the contrast on medium, the generation mode on fast, an aspect ratio of 16 by 9 and went with the small size. So we'll click generate and see what it gave us. I cut out the processing time so we don't have to sit through that. We've got four generations here and for three of them it went a little too far and made our whole character green instead of just his clothing. Now let's go back and instead of illustration, let's change the preset style to stylized illustration. I'm not going to change any of the other settings, but I think we'll come over here and tweak this prompt a bit. Instead of giving it specific colors, I'm just going to say surrounded by sunshine, puffy clouds, and whimsical balloons. AI image generators just seem to love the word whimsical. Click generate, and this batch is a lot less green. Now let's try changing the preset to concept art. And for the preset style, let's try a character sheet and see what that does. We'll leave all the other settings the same and leave the prompt the same and hit generate. It's a little different than what we got before, but not dramatically different. I'm noticing that with each of these generations, it's making some subtle changes to the content. Like if you look at the mouth, some will have a couple of teeth, some will have a full row of teeth, and some have no teeth at all. So if you are truly just trying to colorize something, but you want that something to be completely unchanged, that could be an issue to watch out for. Let's see what happens if we change the preset to anime. For the preset style, let's try anime flat illustration. And how about if we set this contrast to high instead of medium and see if we can get something a little more punchy. While we're at it, let's go to the prompt and add something that will maybe get us out of these pastels. Like maybe this vivid cartoon comes to life with primary colors. Hit the generate button. Yeah, that's not at all what I was going for. Let's switch into legacy mode by clicking on this toggle in the upper right hand corner of the page. I think we'll change the model to Leonardo Vision XL. And I want to try adding elements, so we'll click the elements button right here under the prompt box. This one called Old School Comic looks interesting. Let's give that a shot. Oh, I've got this coloring book element here from earlier. It isn't enabled, but still, let me get rid of that so it doesn't cause any confusion. And now since I switched into legacy mode, I'll have to set up my reference image again. So just click image guidance here below the element we just added. Now we're going to click this first open image input thingy to select a reference image. So I'm going to make sure I'm picking the same one we've been using. And it's this one here, so we'll click it and then click confirm. The type of image guidance defaulted to style reference, so we need to change that to content reference. The amount of guidance automatically switched to high, and that's what we want. So let's get a prompt in here. We'll go with colorful cartoon featuring a whimsical character in bright primary colors. Generate. Now in legacy mode, since we have this image guidance tab down here open, where we were adding our reference image, we'll have to click on the generation history tab to see what we just generated. And there they are. I think this batch is my favorite. We could keep on going forever with different models, styles, elements, and prompts, but I think you get the idea of how it's done and you can take your actual sketches or cartoons instead of this goofy thing I came up with and find the style you're looking for. I hope you found this helpful and if there's something else you're wondering about in Leonardo AI, leave a comment and if I don't know the answer, I'll try to figure it out. Thanks for watching and I hope to see you in the next video.